Hey guys, this is GMAC again with another... Wow, this is not a battlefield. What is this? Well, as promised, I'm gonna show you how I do stuff. So how I actually capture and edit my battlefield videos. I'm gonna skip through the, the tool chain really fast and focus on Gden Live because that's what you wanted to see. So let's, let's get cracking. Um, Den Live is um, a KDE application. I'm running it. Uh, KDE is uh, an, another, uh, you know, uh, uh, graphical uh, user interface for uh, you know a typical uh, desktop and laptop computer. But I'm not going to talk about that. What you see running here is GNOME, uh, the uh, competing <laughs> graphical environment that I've been involved in. Uh, let me just make sure I don't get any messages. And um, and I'm running the very latest version 3.0. Um, so uh, how does my workflow look like? Um, I have the Hauptpauke <laughs> uh, HD capture card, um, which uh, has a USB interface and it captures H.264. I think it captures. Um, hold on, um, let me just create a new terminal here. Okay, uh, I have an extra screen that you guys don't see. I have a dual head setup. And I'll also, you know, lower the resolution of of my uh, primary screen so that the video is not so huge. Um, so sorry for that. Um, so everything is kind of cramped, but uh, hey, it works. Um, so I capture this using FFmpeg. I actually have the script open here. Um, so I just use the the device and. Uh, I use FFmpeg because if I just, you know, I could as well just cat uh, the device. This is Unix, so I could just, you know, uh, pipe the device into a file name, and it would work. If I would play it back, it works, but it's um, I think it's transport streams, so it's. Yeah, so it's a MPEG-4 transport stream, and that's uh, kind of um, you know not supported as well as regular program streams. So I just use FFmpeg to you know copy the, the both of the uh, streams and um, uh, multiplex it into the MPEG-4 program stream um, container, as you can see, and I just have a timestamp on on the files and so I end up with with uh, let me go to gaming battlefield these are actually the files where I capture them uh, these are stuff that I did not go through yet they just weren't interesting and in here I keep I keep all the stuff that I think are decent clips that I want to keep. Uh, they aren't too big. I, I know that Fraps uh, on the PC captures just insanely. I think it, it uses either no or just some intraframe compression and the file size of these things is just crazy. I don't know how you guys uh, manage those files. Uh, so these files are sort of less less insane. Uh, well, this is tiny. This is probably just some crappy footage. But usually they're around, you know, 500 megs to to a gig. Sometimes I, you know, forget to turn it off. Well, I usually forget to turn it on. But um, if I forget to turn it off, um, I just record two sessions in one file. So it's usually a gig. Uh, well, half a gig or a gig. Um, and still. It's actually quite big, <laughs> so I have 320 gigs of, of of Battlefield clips that I uh, that I've recorded. 
Um, so that's capture. And then I move on and um, I start a project in Den Live. And uh, many times I use, um, I create and use the, the assets, uh, which are images. I do that in a vector editor called Inkscape. As you can see that this, this, this little thing, uh, based on the posters that I've done, is composed of many, many images. And those images are done in Inkscape. So let me just close this um, and do Inkscape. Takes a while to load. Come on. Okay. Um, um, so where do I put the posters? That would be in Fun Gaming Battlefield posters. Just try one of these. Yeah, so I edit all the subtitles and, and all, all labels and, and, and stuff like that in Inkscape, render them to PNGs, and then go back here. I have my, uh, my file manager uh, supports extensions, so I actually have a script to simply render the SVG, you know, I just do render with Inkscape, I render the PNG, which I can then uh, transfer back to the, uh, where is it, uh, project tree. So I just drag and drop the stuff onto the project and I can use it. Um, so then you can arrange stuff on the timeline. You have unlimited number of, uh, well, maybe it's limited, but I really only just wanted three or something. Um, video uh, tracks and, and audio tracks. So I have all my uh, assets in the uh, in the project. Uh, if it's a if it's a um, montage, I use the clip monitor to set you know to, to go through the footage and set um, you know uh, markers, and then I can drag the stuff onto the uh, project. Um, I have to say that it's pretty impressive that I can work with uh, with H.264 um, um, clips directly. Um, all the editing that I do is non-destructive, um, so I can resize uh, the, you know, if I go and, um, let me just use a video clip, okay, so I can, I can just, you know, go here and then resize it back. And I haven't lost anything, so if I, you know, crop, uh, I can resize again. Um, and seeking, it it is a little flaky, but it's still pretty impressive because uh, it actually does, you know, it is uh, into frame compression, so it has to do a lot of computation to to get you that frame that, that you just clicked on. But it works. Um, it's actually quite amazing. Um, so that's that. Um, I do transitions. Transitions are actually quite easy. You can, if you just want blends, uh, you just overlay the clips like that, and uh, poof, by default, you got uh, a dissolved tr transition. Um, you can change it to other types if you wish. And um, let me undo that. Um, it actually, like, where is it? So I do these uh, composites. Um, I have the RGBA PNG, the, the image with the alpha channel somewhere. I just drag it on top, uh, you know, create the same sort of uh, transition, change it to composite. And in here you can actually set keyframes and uh, it blends, um, you know, you can animate alpha. You could probably animate more stuff, but I've never, uh, there's probably uh, like masks and, and, and shit. Um, but I don't really use it. I I've really want to keep the editing minimal, and um, you know, so it's it makes sense, and there's no crap uh, being uh, poured at you um, all the time. And then I do uh, I do the commentaries, of course. Um, I do that by using Audacity. It's a software that's actually quite popular in on for for Windows people as well. Um, so I just um, 
yeah there's one thing that 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 then life sucks for and that's when you speed up a clip um, so there's a uh, like a video effect that's speed yeah speed so you can increase the speed uh, it doesn't do any interpolation or anything so if you slow down things you get a slideshow but um, but the problem is that it my computer is not capable to to run it faster than 200% uh, then it skips, which would be okay, but sadly the, the, the sync is not quite there. So if I'm recording my commentary, uh, I would think that I have more time than I actually do, um, which happened. <laughs> so I had to record the whole thing. So what I do if, if I use the, the speed plugin to speed up things, I just render the whole project first and then just do the commentary on top of a rendered project and then you know put it on in the project and re-render. Uh, so that's probably what I can show you. Um, I mean, what 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 is interesting? Uh, so that's my workflow. Uh, it takes quite a while to render afterwards, and it takes quite a while to upload to YouTube as well. Um, so next time you you watch uh, a video commentary or or a montage, reconsider clicking that uh, you know thumbs down button. Uh, because people really invest quite a lot of time to to create these um, so I hope you like this although I've been demoing an application that I don't particularly like uh, if you like this and you want to see more behind the scenes videos let me know uh, I will be happy to do an Inkscape video and uh, or um, GIMP or Blender whatever uh, I haven't really used Blender for for any Battlefield videos yet, um, but I might, you know, if, if you guys are interested, I can do that. Um, but there's plenty of Blender. Uh, well, forget about Blender. There's plenty of Blender videos out there. Uh, go see somebody who 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 knows the stuff more <laughs> than I do. Um, all right, thanks guys. Uh, I I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, uh, you'll see more gaming videos. I promise. Um, bye bye.